Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a look at the Tier 3 Italian cruiser, the Taranto. I know that's probably not even close, but that's as close as I can get. You'll have to live with it. Anyway, this ship is still currently a work in progress. All stats and statistics will probably change before it hits the live server. Now we're going to take a quick look at the modifications, the upgrades, the ammunition and consumables, and the ship's captain, as all these will affect the stats to come. So, here we go. You can upgrade the gun fire control system as well as the hull. The ship does come with torpedoes, so that's very nice. When you first get the ship, it's going to fire out to 10.3 kilometers, but you can upgrade that to 11.4. And when you first get it, it will have hit points of 17,600, and you can up that to 19,600. Ammunition and consumables. This ship has semi-armor piercing shells, or SAP, and armor piercing. It does have torpedoes, once again. And you still only get damage control party, but you can upgrade that to the premium. For the upgrades, you get two slots now. Main armaments modification is what I took in the first slot, but you can do auxiliary, ar arm auxiliary armaments or magazine modification. Second slot, I took damage control system, but you can do propulsion or steering gear. For the exterior, I have the Type 2 camouflage mounted. Signals. These are the signals I have. I do have Sierra Mike, which is plus 5% to the ship's maximum speed. Keep that in mind when we go over the stats. Flags. I have the Community Contributor flag mounted. Now, I do have a 19-point captain assigned to this ship, but I did not use all 19 points. I only used six so yeah this is how I had to count that up by the way if you was wondering what took me so long <laughs> okay this is how I have my six points distributed priority target was my tier one skill adrenaline rush was my tier two skill and I took torpedo armament expertise since this ship does have torpedoes all right so let's take a look at the ship stats as it is set up right now concealment detectability range by c 9.4 kilometers and remember you can adjust these step uh stats if you use more skill points than i did but i just didn't want to anyway maximum speed 29.6 knots that's with sierra mike turning circle radius 450 meters rudder shift 5.7 AA defense is non-existent pretty much torpedoes all right you get two times two so two tubes on this side and two tubes on this side they are 533 millimeter and they fire out to eight kilometers which is not bad at a speed of 51 knots artillery you get seven times one, 150 millimeters, which is an upgrade from the 120 millimeters that we had before. Reload time, excuse me, is still a slow 13 seconds, but you can decrease that with captain skills. Tra traverse is 25.7 seconds. Maximum SAP shell damage is 3,550 and maximum AP shell damage is 3,700. They fire out to a range of 11.4 kilometers. Survivability, 19,600 for your hit points. Armor, look we do get a little extra armor belt here on the tier 3, 60 millimeters. 60 millimeters but the rest of it is still sporting the nice blue six millimeters so oh wait what is that conning tower oh yeah these guys they get a whole hundred meter millimeters of protection wonder wonder who's important that stays in there anyway 
So, yeah, this ship still has the turrets um, down each side. So you get one here in the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is your turret layout for this ship. So, let's hop into a game and see what I was able to do with the Taranto. It's a work in progress. Here we go. Oh no, it's a 4v4 game. Let's take a look at these other cruisers. Dang it. You wait so long and then you just get crap game. But anyway, let's see what we can do. Oh, it's late. Get my sight set. Now the Taranto still has the same gun layout. You can see down the bottom left hand corner. You got one turret in the very front and then you have two on each side and then you have two in the back in the center. So you can get five turrets firing a full broadside. But that back one's got to traverse all the way around to get over to the other side. But maybe we will look up and find the enemy destroyer. That would be nice to introduce him to some semi-armor piercing shells. Probably should not be coming over here all by myself, but you, I'm either going to be a hero or a zero most likely zero and you won't ever see this game but if it turns out the other way then hey we're detected we've got one ship aiming at us oh it's a destroyer there's his smoke oh and a Kohlberg gun turrets still seen Kinda slow. Look at that, 4,900 in the Colbert with SAP. And you can see the amount of rounds that he can put out, and 586. He can put out much more volume of rounds. But Oh, I had a better initial salvo. Let's see. Oh, no, there he goes. Where are you at, Colbert? Citadel him. That was a nice angle to Citadel him at, too. Let's see if we'll need these torpedoes. out for that wicks over there. Looking like it's going to be a zero. Oh, there we go. Fifteen hundred. I'm going to drop some torpedoes just to this side of the island in case he comes sneaking around the edge there. I should be able to stay away from him enough to hit him with these SAP rounds. Come on. There we go. Hit him. 
Oh. <laughs> Okay, now we're Cap and C. All right, I guess we will. Oh, those were kind of late. Lucky I didn't eat one of those. We'll head over and Cap B on our way over to A. It's going to be a long haul to get over there. I got a long way to go and a short time to get there. That's old school stuff. You don't know anything about that. We are running at 29.7 knots. It's with Sierra Mike. This is taking a long time. The Chikuma has about 6,500 health left. The Weymouth has 16, but he's got some torps heading toward him. Can't really tell what the Samson has put out more torps toward the Weymouth. The Samson's down to 377. And I have no idea what that was. It just like blew up beside me. The Samson is down. So we're going to come over here and try to intercept the Weymouth. Hopefully, he'll be showing me some broadside and I can get him with this AP that I just selected up. Taking care of two caps. Now I'm down to 6,319 health. So he had a good bit more health last time I saw him. Oh, there he is. He's not at the best angle for AP. We'll send some anyway. Uh, 1900 damage. He's got 13, almost 14,000 health. Is he going to show me some broadside? Maybe. Nope. Maybe. 1500. Keep angled. Let's see. Is he going to cross in front of me? Is he going to cross that? I don't know. Let's try some torques. There's the broadside. What? 1700? Oh, 
come on. There we go. And finish them off with some guns. All right. Lucky those torpedoes hit, or he would have taken me out. It's just not doing enough damage to him. But we got 172,000 credits, 2,500 XP, and 143 free XP. 41,800 damage, 23 target hits, 4 torpedo hits, 3 ships destroyed, flooded twice, 1 citadel, 2 captured bases, 2 spotted ships. Let's take a look at this team score. First place in the team. So, all right. Detailed report, 18,300 on the Kohlberg, 14,000 on the Weymouth, and almost 9 on the Wix. So, that's not too bad. So, the Taranto, work in progress, Italian Tier 3 cruiser. This is not a bad ship. It can hold its own with most of the other Tier 3 cruisers. You will have some trouble with something like a St. Louis heavy armored cruiser with lots of guns yeah you're gonna want to stay away from that one but uh you're not going to get a true feel or start getting the true feel of the italian cruisers until you hit tier four which has a more modern ship with the center line turrets a little bit faster but yeah the taranto if you've liked this look at the Taranto, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.